Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at downloading and installing Microsoft SQL Server for Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So MS SQL or Microsoft SQL Server is a relational database management system. Its primary function is retrieving and storing data as requested by other software applications. But in this case, yeah, we're going to use the SQL Server Express, which is the free edition of SQL Server, ideal for development and production for desktop, web, and small server applications. So rather than just talking too much, so as you can see right here, I've got the Visual Studio installer opened. And I've got a browser, obviously. So we're just going to go straight to Google and type in, um, of course, Microsoft uh, SQL Server. So we just get the first result. So we go to the SQL Server downloads, yeah? So here we'll be able to download the uh, Um, the SQL Server Express here. So th this is a SQL Server 2019 Express. It's a free edition of SQL Server, ideal for development and production, like I said earlier on. So we're just going to click on the download. So as you can see, uh, we've got the file being downloaded. So I'm just going to close the, the Visual Studio installer. So we're just going to click the file. So as you can see here now, we've got this the, um, here, we're going to select the installation type. So here we could select the basic, the custom, or to download the media. So this is the basic one. This selects in installation type to install the SQL, I mean SQL Server database engine feature with default configuration. So we're going to choose the the basic one for this video so we click on the accept the terms and conditions so here obviously this is the file location this is where the um, files will be installed so we click on the install so this might actually take a while so i'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing yeah you know, while the whole magic is happening so if there's any changes here i'll just come back to the video and explain it so i'm just going to leave it here as it is yeah so as you can see here now, we've actually got the download successful and we've got the installation started, yeah? So we, we just, so this will take a few moments for the whole thing just to finish up. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the installation completed. So you could click here to connect to the, to the server, or you can click here to customize the, the installation which we're going to do so we click here so the installation okay so basically I've actually opened it already so that's it here so what we do once we get this page here we're going to use Microsoft update to check for updates yeah so we click on the next So here, obviously, there's a firewall. We're just going to try to skip it. So here, this this what we get. So this first bit is perform a new installation of SQL Server. Or uh, this here, just to add some features to it. Yeah. So let's click on this bit. See. So we're just going to add. We're just going to click on this next. So here, you actually prompted to have a to give us to to add server replications and whatnot. Yeah. So we're just going to. Uh, sorry about the phone call. So we're just going to click on the next. So here, there are validation errors on this page. So click OK. 
So let's see, we're just going to check on this box. Yeah, click on next. So as you can see, uh, we've got the uh, inst installation continuing. Basically, we've got some downloads and installations going on. So I'm just going to pause the video while this, this actually finishes. So now we've actually got the installation completed. Um, so I'm just going to close this bit here. And then we, I'm just going to copy the connection string as well. So basically the server is um, SQL Express and whatnot. So we're going to click on the connect now. So basically we've got that this bit sorted out. So I'm just going to open a Visual Studio. So I'm just going to launch the Visual Studio 2022. Then we're going to continue with our code. So here we open the server bit. We open the server bit here and then here so as you can see we've on the data connection side here yeah, we just right click it and then add connection so here we're just going to select microsoft sql server continue so here we're going to add the, the server name so i we just we're just going to put this here so basically the server is this local local host this bit here. So we're just gonna copy it and then paste it here. So we're just gonna test connection. So as you can see uh, um, the connect the the test connection is succeeded. So as you can see here now, we're using the, the Windows authentication, but obviously you can create some other authentication types for your for your server, yeah? So here, obviously, you can go ahead and create a database, or you can look through here if there's any database attached to this. So we're just going to go ahead and create a simple database. So we just got FT, just something in it, in yeah. So we click OK. So basically, the database doesn't exist. So we click Yes for it to be created. So as you can see here now, we've got the DB created, yeah. So on my next video, obviously, we look at creating a database project inside of Visual Studio 2022. So base, so please make sure you subscribe to the channel because i've got lots of videos coming up yeah so i have i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are peace